Welcome back to Nerd of Things, and today we're going to talk about Game of Thrones. Yay! Game of Thrones is back, and there was a lot to take in uh, during the episode last night. A lot going on, and it was fun to see all of the interest interesting uh, character interactions and see all the characters again. It was nice to see all the characters back at Winterfell and to see things come full circle, because... In uh, episode one of season one, you had uh, Robert Baratheon, you had Cersei, and Ned Stark all all there. And then it, co it comes full circle, where this time you had Jon Snow, Daenerys, and uh, Sansa there, and also Arya. And also, th they were real snaky, because in episode one, season one... Sansa was the kid that was trying to see what was going on, but in this episode, Sansa, sorry, Sansa, I meant Arya. Arya was the one, that was, the kid that was trying to see what was going on. In uh, this episode, Arya is the one that steps out of the way for the other kid to come, because things have come full circle. So, with the subject of circles, that's where we'll get into what we're going to talk about, uh, and, and that will be things coming in full swing. No pun intended. But one thing that my wife brought up to me last night when we watched the episode was the fact that at the end of the episode, uh, the part where there was the kid who was the walker who was on the wall, and when they set, set the limbs on fire, then there was a circle. And I was, I don't know, I just wanted to know what was up with the circle, and she said it was there, and then... Another family member of mine, my sister, actually said, what was up with the circle? So, I've been doing research today on the circles in Game of Thrones. So, you had that circle. But also, in episode one, you had a circle that was put together by the walkers with the wildlings, right? So, you had that one. In episode two, with the birth of the dragon babies from... Call Drogo's corpse and the dragon eggs. Once again, you have a circle. That's a little bit weird. Like, we've already seen three circles now. Right? Then later on, you have another circle that's put together because the walkers have chopped up some wildlings. And you had, and this is when back when Mance Raider was alive. And he says, make some comment about how they were artists ever the artists then also you have a tree that also ha it looks like a tree and there's also some like tendrils that are around it right so i guess this is the kind of like the uh tree of life that you would find in the, in the bible the tree of life there's something spiritual going on in the tree that bran keeps staring at the tree right he keeps staring at the tree, and we can talk about that later. But then again, Bran has a vision, and once again, there's a tree. But this time, it's covered in snow. And then finally, oh, okay, well, bef almost, bef almost finally, I say finally because we just rewatched season seven, uh, when uh, Jon Snow was trying to win Daenerys to his side. He talks about how there's a circle down there in the paintings and talks about how the uh, children of the forest fought the walkers alongside the first men when he's trying to get Daenerys to his side. All right, and then again, once again, we have the final circle that was shown last night. And interestingly enough, if you look at the history of how the uh, White Walkers were formed, it was a the first White Walker was formed by one of the first men that was stabbed in the heart with dragon glass. So it seems like that we are we keep going around in circles and circles and circles. And if you're talking about kind of the tree of life, where you have Bran, right? We've seen the tree and we've seen the tree of life. It's almost like there's some sort of Norse, mytholo Norse mythology thing going on with the circle of life in Ragnarok. Uh, I also find it convenient 
that Bran, the sorry, the builder of the wall was named Bran, Bran the builder, right? Yet once again we have Bran now, who is also Bran. And then we also know that the wall was magical and it was built with incantations to protect against uh, the walkers from coming across it, right? But we have Bran, the builder in the past, we have Bran now, and the only reason why the walkers were able to get past the wall is because if you recall, I think uh, maybe in season four, uh, Bran reached out in the spirit realm and the Night King marked him and he was told by, I think he was told by his future self at that point in time that because he was marked, that the walkers could not follow. So Bran kind of screwed things up and kind of doomed Westeros because he's crossed the wall. So it makes you wonder, is Bran the Night King? Is Jon Snow the Night King? And even more so, I say that, why would, why would I say, is Jon Snow the Night King? Because, number one, if you recall, uh, the big fight when they, the big fight that they had between the walkers, I think it was in season seven. If you recall, the Night King is sitting there and he's just staring. No, it wasn't in season seven. It was in the one, I think it was Hardhome, the attack on Hardhome. Uh, the the Night King is just studying Jon Snow, studying Jon Snow. So is there some sort of circular pattern that's going on? Somehow Jon Snow related in time? And the reason why I say that is because if you look at this circle right here, which happens to be the house the, or the sigil of Targaryen, it kind of looks like a circle, right? Well, what's going on? The, so this recurring circle that's put out by the walkers in the past, the recurring circle that the walkers keep doing in art, or also when the dragons are born, or also the tree of life, is all related to the house Targaryen. Right, what's going on? Uh, and I know I'm not into conspiracy theories or anything like that, but we'll just show this picture right here. Does this look familiar? What's going on? Well, uh, yeah, really, what's going on? I've seen all sorts of theories on Reddit about what it could be. And uh, I guess I'll leave it up for you guys to talk, but there, it seems to me like there's some sort of circular pattern of life that's going on. And I've read some theories about how it's not a circular pattern of life, but somehow it's aliens. Some some redditor made some comment about it was aliens marking their marking that they were there, kind of like crop crop signals. So <laughs> whatever. There is a there's definitely some sort of pattern that's going on on the show, and I really hope that we'll know in the next five episodes about what's going on, but. I thought I would talk about the history of the circles and the sigils, and I'll leave it up to you guys in the comment section below about what it could possibly be. All right, we will talk to you later. Thanks for watching Nerder Things. Please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and we're going to do nerd stuff, right? Whatever is interesting, we'll do. We're not limited to just virtual reality or video games we like. We're going to do whatever we think is uh, nerdy enough. So with that, we'll talk to you later. Bye.